Have you ever asked yourself how the world feeds its ever-growing population? It's a question that looms large as our planet's population steadily rises. The answer isn't just about producing more food, but about producing it in a way that can be maintained long term. This is where sustainable farming comes into play. Sustainable farming is the future of agriculture. It's a method of farming that focuses on producing food while also caring for our planet. It means using innovative techniques and technologies to grow crops and raise livestock in ways that don't deplete our Earth's resources or contribute to climate change. But the challenge is immense. We're tasked with feeding a population that's predicted to reach nearly 10 billion by the middle of this century. And we have to do it while protecting the environment and preserving our planet for future generations. So how do we balance the need for food and environmental conservation? The answer lies in sustainable farming. Picture the lush green rice terraces of East Asia. For centuries, these cascading fields have been a testament to human ingenuity, a panorama of agricultural achievement. The farmers here, with wisdom passed down through generations, have perfected the art of terrace farming, turning steep hilly terrains into arable land. Terrace farming is more than just a visually stunning form of agriculture. It's a clever solution to a complex problem. In East Asia, much of the land is mountainous, making conventional farming techniques impractical. Instead of battling against the terrain, farmers have learned to work with it, sculpting the mountains into terraces that allow for the cultivation of rice. But the benefits of terrace farming extend beyond the ability to farm in challenging landscapes. One of the key advantages is the reduction in soil erosion. The terraces act as barriers, preventing the precious topsoil from being washed away by rainwater. This not only preserves the fertility of the land, but also safeguards the surrounding environment from excessive sedimentation. Water conservation is another important aspect of this farming practice. In terraced fields, water cascades down from one level to the next, ensuring that every plant receives the hydration it needs while minimizing waste. This efficient use of water is particularly crucial in regions where water resources are scarce. Last but not least, terrace farming can lead to improved crop yields. The terraces provide a larger surface area for cultivation compared to conventional farming on the same slope. More importantly, the terraces create a unique microclimate that's ideal for growing rice, with the water acting as a thermal buffer, maintaining consistent temperatures that help the rice plants thrive. This ancient practice is a great example of sustainable farming that protects the land and feeds people. It shows us that with a bit of creativity and respect for nature, we can cultivate food in ways that are not only productive but also sustainable, ensuring that our precious farmlands can continue to provide for future generations. Now let's travel to the forests of Central America. Here, a unique farming method known as agroforestry is changing the way we think about agriculture. But what exactly is agroforestry? Well, it's a practice where farmers integrate trees and crops within the same plot of land. It's a marriage of agriculture and forestry that creates a beneficial coexistence. The trees are not just randomly planted, they are strategically placed to provide benefits for the crops. They provide shade, reducing the harshness of the sun on the crops, and their roots reach deep into the soil, bringing up nutrients that the crops can use. Now you might be wondering, how does this practice improve soil health? The leaves that fall from these trees decompose and enrich the soil, adding organic matter that improves its structure and fertility. This process reduces the need for chemical fertilizers, providing a natural and sustainable alternative. And it doesn't end there. Agroforestry also reduces pest issues. The increased biodiversity brought about by the introduction of trees can attract beneficial insects that prey on crop pests, reducing the need for harmful pesticides. But the benefits of agroforestry go beyond the farm. The addition of trees increases biodiversity on a larger scale, providing habitat for a variety of wildlife. This has a positive ripple effect on the surrounding ecosystem, helping to maintain balance and promote biodiversity. Moreover, agroforestry has economic benefits for the farmers. The trees can provide additional products like fruits, nuts, and timber, creating diversified income streams. This can increase the resilience of farmers to market fluctuations and crop failures. In essence, agroforestry shows that farming and forests don't have to be separate entities. They can coexist in a symbiotic relationship benefiting both the environment and the farmer. It's a win-win situation that shows us a new way to think about sustainable agriculture. Agroforestry shows us that farming and forests can coexist, benefiting both the environment and the farmer. Our journey takes us next to the organic farms of Europe. Europe has seen a significant rise in organic farming over the past couple of decades. 
This shift towards more sustainable practices represents a conscious effort to protect our Earth while still providing for our growing population. Organic farming in Europe is all about going back to basics, reconnecting with nature, and respecting the delicate balance of our ecosystems. These farmers avoid synthetic pesticides and fertilizers, choosing instead to nourish their crops with natural compost and manure. This not only improves soil health, but also encourages biodiversity. See, healthy soil is a living, breathing entity, teeming with organisms that play a vital role in plant growth. By avoiding synthetic inputs, organic farmers allow these organisms to thrive, enhancing the soil's fertility and ensuring the longevity of their land. Moreover, organic farming practices contribute to the preservation of biodiversity. By creating a pesticide-free environment, they provide a safe haven for insects, birds, and other wildlife. This biodiversity is crucial, as it contributes to the overall health of the ecosystem and helps in natural pest control. But let's not gloss over the fact that organic farming is not without its challenges. It's labor-intensive, requires a deep understanding of natural processes, and sometimes yields less than conventional farming. So why do farmers choose to go organic? Well, aside from the environmental benefits, organic farming can also be financially rewarding. Consumers are becoming increasingly aware of the impact their food choices have on the environment, leading to a growing demand for organic produce. This has resulted in higher market prices for organic crops, making it a viable and often profitable option for farmers. Moreover, organic farming provides a sense of satisfaction that goes beyond financial gains. It's about knowing that you're working with nature, not against it, that you're part of a solution, not a problem. Organic farming demonstrates that it's possible to produce food without harming the environment. It's a testament to the power of sustainable practices and a beacon of hope for the future of farming. You have now seen how farmers around the world practice sustainable farming. From the rice terraces of East Asia, where farmers have harnessed the power of water and terrains to cultivate rice, to Central America's agroforestry systems, where trees and crops coexist to create a symbiotic relationship benefiting both the environment and the farmers. Then we journeyed to Europe, where organic farming practices are not only nourishing the soil, but also the communities that rely on them. These case studies are just a few examples of the myriad ways that sustainable farming is reshaping our relationship with food and the environment. They demonstrate that farming doesn't have to be a tug of war with nature. Instead, it can be a harmonious dance where both parties lead and follow in turn. Sustainable farming is more than just a trend, it's a necessity. As the global population continues to grow, the demand for food will only increase. Yet, our planet's resources are finite. We can't afford to continue with practices that deplete the soil, pollute the water, and contribute to climate change. Instead, we need to embrace methods that not only feed us, but also heal and replenish the earth. The benefits of sustainable farming are far-reaching. It's about more than just producing food. It's about preserving biodiversity, reducing carbon emissions, and promoting economic resilience. It's about creating a world where our children and grandchildren can not only survive, but thrive. So let's take a moment to appreciate the farmers around the world who are leading the way in sustainable farming. Their hard work and innovation are not just feeding their communities, they are laying the groundwork for a future where food security and environmental sustainability are not mutually exclusive, but intricately intertwined. In conclusion, sustainable farming represents more than just a shift in agricultural practices. It signifies a profound transformation in the way we relate to our planet and to each other. Sustainable farming holds the key to feeding the world while preserving our planet. The future of farming is in our hands. It is up to us to nurture and protect our planet, and sustainable farming practices are a critical part of that mission. You might be wondering, how can I contribute? Well, there are numerous ways to support this cause. One simple yet impactful way is through our buying choices. Consider choosing locally grown produce at your grocery store or farmer's market. By doing so, not only are you getting fresher, often tastier food, but you're also supporting your local economy and reducing your carbon footprint. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, why not start your own garden? Even a small herb garden on your windowsill or a few vegetable plants in your backyard can contribute to sustainability. It's a rewarding endeavor that's good for you and the environment. Remember, every small change can make a big difference. Subscribe to our channel for more insights and join us in making the world a better place.